Good morning. Glad you're with us here this Monday, May 17th, 2021. We're here every day at noontime. We welcome your presence. Oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Psalm 89, in part. Your love, O Lord, forever will I sing. From age to age my mouth will proclaim your faithfulness. For I am persuaded that your love is established forever. You have set your faithfulness firmly in the heavens. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn on oath that David is my servant. I will establish your life forever ever and preserve your throne for all generations. The heavens bear witness to your wonders, O Lord, and to your faithfulness in the assembly of the holy ones. For who in the skies can be their heir to the Lord? Who is like the Lord among the gods? God is much to be feared in the council of the holy ones, great and terrible to all those round about him. Who is like you, Lord God of hosts? Almighty oh, Lord, your faithfulness is all around you. You rule the raging of the sea and still the surging of its waves. You have crushed straight half of the deep with a deadly wound. You have scattered your enemies with your mighty arm. Yours are the heavens, the earth also is yours. You laid the foundation of the world and all that is in it. You have made the north and the south. Tabor and Hermon rejoice in your name. You have a mighty arm, strong as your hand and high is your right hand. Righteousness and justice are the foundations of your throne. Love and truth go before your face. Happy are the people who know the festal shout. They walk, O Lord, in the light of your presence. They rejoice daily in your name. They are jubilant with your righteousness. For you are the glory of their strength, and by your favor our might is exalted. Truly, Truly, the Lord, Lord is our ruler, the Holy One of Israel is our King. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our reading from Hebrews. Therefore, let us go on towards perfection, leaving behind the basic teachings about Christ, and not laying again at the foundation repentance from dead works and faith towards God, instruction about baptism, laying on of hands, resurrection of the dead, and eternal judgment. And we will do this if God permits. For it is impossible to restore again the repentance those who have once been enlightened and have tasted the heavenly gift and have shared in the Holy Spirit and have tasted the goodness of the word of God and the powers of the age to come and then have fallen away, since on their own they are crucifying again the Son of God and are holding him up in contempt. Ground that drinks up the rain falling on it repeatedly and that produces a crop useful to those for whom it is cultivated receives a blessing from God. But if it produces thorns and thistles, it is worthless and on the verge of being cursed, its end is to be burned over. Even though we speak in this way, beloved, we are confident of better things in your case, things that belong to salvation. For God is not unjust. He will not overlook your work and the love that you showed for his sake in serving the saints as you still do. And we want each of you to show the same diligence so as to realize the full assurance of hope to the very end so that you may not become sluggish, but imitators of those who through faith and patience inherit the promises. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. Lord, have mercy. Praise have mercy. Lord, have mercy. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, and on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come unto you. Let us pray. O God of grace and mercy, give your blessings to the Diocese of Alaska. Watch over our churches, sustain our people, strengthen our leaders. Through the Holy Spirit, guide and guard the diocese, keeping it always under your care and protection. Let us be a loving family, serving you in faithful devotion to the gospel of your Son, Jesus Christ. Give your blessings to Mark, our bishop. Give him a spirit of courage and right judgment, a spirit of knowledge and love. Let your Holy Spirit be his companion. Let your gospel be always in his thoughts. May your presence in his life be a light for all to see in every good work for the building up of your people and the glory of your holy name. Give us the blessing of your example. Help us to follow the way of Jesus today and every day. Give us compassion at the center of all we do. Compassion for ourselves as disciples still young in faith. Compassion for others as members of our own family in God. Let us become examples for others as so many others have been examples for us through your love and for the sake of your glory. Watch over all elders and brothers and sisters of the Society of St. Simeon and St. Anna. If any are in need or are time of sorrow or sickness or need, give them the touch of your healing hand. If any are in times of joy, thanksgiving or fulfillment, give them the song of angels to praise your name. Let us be your servants in this life just as he, as we, will be your servants and daughters in the life to come. This is the place where we will have free intercessions. We pray for the mental health of Lorraine H. We give thanks for this church and the possibilities that we have herein, places to worship you every day. We give thanks for this community today and for all who depend upon it. Today we pray for the Honorable Thurgood Marshall, who was a distinguished American jurist and the first African American to become an Associate Justice of the United States Supreme Court. Eternal and ever gracious God, you blessed your servant Thurgood Marshall with grace and courage to discern and speak the truth. Grant that following his example, we may know you and recognize that we are all your children, brothers and sisters of Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Eternal light, shine into our hearts. Eternal goodness, deliver us from evil. Eternal power, be our support. Eternal wisdom, scatter the darkness of our ignorance. Eternal pity, 
have mercy upon us, that we, that with all our heart and mind and soul and strength, we may seek your face and be brought by your infinite mercy to your holy presence. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May God bless the work of our hands.